hello everyone welcome back to my channel so today guys i'm making this special food because it is my husband's birthday we're not making a regular rice we're making something so different so on the table for the first course we are going to be taking i'm going to be making this um roasted or grilled catfish i'll be using some potatoes you can see our potatoes here and so these are my seasonings here i have my seasoning cube i have my ginger i have my garlic i have my mixed spice i have cameroon pepper i have curry and i have um, salt here in this bowl i have my green herbs here yeah? because i want this fish to be so so spicy here i have green pepper yellow pepper red pepper ginger garlic spring onions rosemary thyme some salt and i now use um, cooking oil to blend it so that is what we are having here you know because of how the way catfish is if you don't add enough pepper you won't be able to eat it so i have enough pepper in here but if you cannot tolerate heat then don't put as much pepper as i'm going to be putting so here i have some um, vegetables just to spice something up a little bit so before we start now i'll just season this um potatoes i already cut washed very very well so what i'll do i'll take in some salt some curry powder some garlic seasoning cube ginger and the mixed spice then i'll do same for the vegetable because i want it to have some taste just little bit of it little bit little bit but you can use any spice of your choice so now i'll add this into the potato then i will just turn everything very very well so that it will be tasty you know sweet potato if it's not well um Irish potato if it's not well spiced it will be okay so this is this for this one so what i'll do now i'll take one fish at a time so now i can now mix everything in here combine everything very very well yeah you have to wash your fish very well you know it's slimy i had to use a um, lemon for this i didn't pour hot water because i'm going to be roasting so i had to use lemon to wash so that's a um, slimy nature will be out and you see i have some incisions in the fish you have to do this so that all the spices will enter into it very very well Catch fish has to be so so spicy. If not, won't be able to eat it. Open inside and see. Add some. Just do this. Take the other one. Do same. I never knew that catfish was so expensive now because for some time I've not bought catfish. I went to the market looking for catfish of 3,000. But I was surprised they were calling, they were calling catfish for me for 7,000, 5,000. I was like, what? This country? Only really God that will help us. So I've done this now. Just add enough because this catfish was so, so tasty today. So this is done i will now get my foil paper so now i have to wear my hand glove because that thing is so purplish when i was blending it i knew what my eyes saw i don't know how i rubbed it into my eyes and my eyes was just watching so i'll just take this out from here while you are doing this you need enough space I have a lot to prepare today. It's always birthday, so we have to make it fun. Sure. Guys, you can see that I've put the fish on my foil paper. So now I'll use my green herb to now bait it very, very well. You have to bait it. So your catfish barbecue will be so, so yummy. So turn it. Yeah. So 
So guys, I'm done with this. So I'll take some of my um, potatoes and just put by the side. So now I'm going to wrap. I think I have to wrap it two times so it doesn't tear. You have to carry it gently. Wow. So I'll get my tray and place it on it. So this is what I have. So now I'll just prepare the other one because we have two fishes. So I'll prepare the other one. So this is what I have. So bait this one like the first. Hope I've not used pepper to rub my body everywhere is hot. On me now, nah, I didn't wear gloves in my other hand. So just allow this your green herb to enter everywhere. So take the other potato, the remaining one. This is Irish potato. You can use um, sweet potato or you can use plantain. So I'll wrap now. I'll double the foil again. yeah so now i'll take it to the oven this should be for like 30 minutes So guys, um, for the chicken, this is what we have. It is totally washed. So now I'll be using my seasoning. I have paprika, garlic, ginger, curry powder, salt, and uh, mixed spice. So I just mix everything together and then pour it into the chicken so that the spice, the seasoning will enter very, very well. So this is what we have. Make the seasoning to enter every part of this uh, chicken. So when it is grilled, you can chew or crush the bone. So I'm done with this now. The same herb I use for the fish. I will now use it for the chicken just dip it in dip it in very very well you see what i have it is well dipped then get my tray this my tray will not take everything so I'll put it in two trays 
Dip it in very well. When you are eating this, you'll be crushing the bone. So this is what we have here. I will not take it into the oven, let it grill with the fish. So guys, as part of our chop chop, I want to bake just um, this little chocolate cake. So here I have flour. I'll add in baking soda. I have this recipe in my channel. You can check it out there. Baking powder. This one is cocoa, sugar. I will add all the dry ingredients together, mix it very well. Then you have your cooking oil, chocolate. If you don't have chocolate, you can use Milo for this. Just use Milo and you get almost the same chocolate cake. Vanilla. And I'll pour in the egg. And milk. Then I'll pour in one cup of boiling water. This is boiling water. So you now combine everything together. Just keep stirring. So you see it's so easy to make. You can also use your hand mixer for this, but if you don't use hand, uh, have a hand mixer, you can just use a spatula like I'm using now. So what we have here, and our chocolate cake is ready. So I have a small pan here. I've already added my um, baking sheet, so just pour it in there. So I'll take it to the oven and let it start baking. So guys, I'm done with the fish, with my cake and my chicken. So now I want to fry some potatoes that I'm going to be mixing with some vegetables. So now my potatoes are in the oil. I have to season it with um, some paprika, some curry powder, some salt and some uh, spice. So that it will be so, so tasty. So on the other burner, I have my macaroni also cooking which i'm going to be stir frying i told you guys we are not eating rice we are going to be taking something different today so let's continue our cooking so the macaroni is cooked let's start with the stir frying so this is the onions and this is my um ginger paste Thank you. 
so my people this is our birthday macaroni you can see how fine the face is and so so colorful so i'll go over to the next burner and i'll start with the potato Guys, see how colorful this is. The aroma in my kitchen is so so amazing. So this birthday dinner is going to be something else. So guys, I'll pour in the potato. You can use sweet potato or Irish potato for this. So guys, after a long time in the kitchen, this is what I have my hobby's birthday. So we are going to be having dinner now. You can see we have our grilled fish here, we have our potato and um, the vegetables here. We have our macaroni and vegetables. This is our lovely Oreo, Oreo puff puff. Then we have the grilled fish, we have the salad, then the cream, then the drink, and of course this is the cake. So guys, join us as we take our dinner.